sometimes we don't. It's like fishing. You go fishing, sometimes you, you catch fish, other times you don't. The way I do it with my wife and my three kids, we just walk around and we find a bone. Uh, we never just dig a hole, like think, oh, but there's bones down there. You have to see a bone sticking out of the ground, or we'll walk next to a hillside. And the bones, when they weather, you know, when the water kind of erodes them out, they kind of pile up in little chunks. And we'll follow that back up to dig into the, into the side of the hill. Some people use big excavators and stuff. We just use shovels and brushes and little picks. Wait, um, would that be a good place to search for bones? Because if they're in a sandstorm, it would move, like, and there's not any trees or brush like 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 where I live in Vermont, they they find dinosaur footprints. We don't find very many bones at all because of glaciers. But there's there's ferns, there's stuff you never just see the ground. It's really really hard because there's so many plants. But like in Wyoming now, they've had a drought for like 20 years, so there's hardly any stuff to, you know between you and the ground, and it's easy to find. Do you have to be very careful when you dig up um, bones? Yeah, you do. And I tell you the truth, my kids are much more careful than I am. Like, I kind of get impatient, you know, I'm digging all day. I'm like, I want to get that bone out of there. But you have to do it in a very orderly fashion. Um, you know, you, you clear away the bone, then you pour super glue all over the bone. It sucks in there, it makes the bone hard. So if you picked it up, it wouldn't break so easily. Then you put tin foil on top of that, and you, you wrap plaster around the top half of the bone. And you flip the bone over, you do the same thing to the other side. So that's how we get it home. It takes a long time. Why do you put that stuff on the bone? Oh, because you put the super glue on there, super glue drops. But if you don't put the tin foil on, when you put the plaster on, sometimes the plaster will get into the holes because there's little holes in there, and it's really hard to get the plaster back out. So you cover the bones in tin foil so the plaster doesn't get in there.